Time to take note of the latest from singer-songwriter Yusuf Islam, formerly known as Cat Stevens. Tracy Smith does the honors. But if you want to leave, take good care. Hope you have a lot of nice friends out there. But just remember there's a lot of bad men. By any name, Yusuf Islam is a legend. Come, baby, baby, it's a wild word. The man who came to fame as Cat Stevens released this song 50 years ago from his masterpiece album, Tea for the Tillerman. Oh, baby, baby, it's a wild world. And now he has a new album coming out in the fall. Many fine fair friends. But you might already know every word to every song. She hangs her head and cries on In Tea for the Tillerman 2, Yusuf has re-recorded every track, but with the perspective that 50 years of living can bring. Tell me what's making you sad. The songs seem as fresh as ever, and at almost 72, so does he. We talked with him from his home in Dubai. First of all, you still look great, but your voice sounds the same. How'd you do that? Yes, I'm looking down on a lonely asteroid. You know, I, I live a very healthy life. I don't drink, don't smoke, don't take drugs, all that stuff. You know, when I went away, it's like land, it's like earth. You know, if you leave it, it starts to develop all these nutrients. Um, like you leave it fallow, come back the next year or two years time, wow, things start blooming. And it's kind of like that, you know, I become an amateur again, if you like. I didn't mind, but my voice was still fresh, which, you know, it's a bit of a miracle, really. It's not time to make a change. For example, in the achingly poignant conversation between father and son. You're still young, that's your fault. The tracks were recorded 50 years apart. Find a girl, settle down if you want. And both versions are perfect in their own way. Look at me, I am old, but I'm happy. You're doing a duet with your younger self. What's that like for Yusuf and Cat Stevens to be together? He's great. He, I love working with him, honestly. <laughs> well, I think it's fine. It was Yusuf's son, Yorios, who came up with the idea to re record the album, including Where Do the Children Play? I know we've come a long way a song that might resonate even louder today. Tell me, where do the children play? In fact, most of the props in the new music video are made from recycled garbage. When you wrote this song, it was inspired by your own childhood and where you played? Yes, in a way, I, I was born in the middle of London, you know, in the West End, and um, it was only concrete. And so, you know, you learn how to, well, I learned how to climb roofs for sure. You know, it wasn't trees, I was climbing roofs. And, uh, well, that's the cat in me, anyway. And now, through his Peace Train initiative, he's helping to feed hungry children and give them safe places to play. Now I've been happy lately, thinking about the good things to come. I got involved in education, and one of the things I made sure was that there was a massive, you know, play space for the kids to enjoy. His charity work has long been a part of who he is. And Yusuf, who converted to Islam in 1977 and walked away from music for a time, first cut is the deepest. says he's still the same man who wrote those amazing songs followed by a all those years ago. Shatter, moon shatter. Big picture question. Are you misunderstood? Yes. And I would say, well, I would say in certain regions, yes. It's not time to make a change. Just that's why I'm trying to reclaim the narrative. And that's why, in a way, I've got back to recording T for the Tillerman again. Because, you know, it's me. It's not like that guy back in 70 and he's disappeared and now I'm a ghost. You know, it's not that. I'm him. No, all the time. The same spirit that, that helped me write those songs. It's just I'm a little bit more up, up in the kind of, um, up on the levels, you know, in the departments, you may say. I've gone up a few floors. That's all. 
with a longer, <laughs> slightly longer beard. <laughs> Morning has broken like the first. Like most of us these days, Yusuf is sticking close to home, but he hopes to get back on tour next year. After all, he's a man who loves a good Cat Stevens song. Oh, baby, baby. Almost as much as the rest of us. And I'll always remember you like a child. Everyone has a story about Yusuf Cat Stevens song that affected their life, that they remember from a certain moment in their life. How does that affect you hearing all of those things? I'm incredibly honored. Because when you're doing something when it's really honest, it does have a lasting effect. And I think music, generally, it enables us to unite on a thought. Train, sound, and on the 10,000 people in an arena, you know, listening and uniting, if you like, around a song. And that's beautiful, that's great. And so it's a gift, it's such a gift.